Hey Taurus, this is Jackie Tom and the Shoe Journal Rain. This is for the week of February 27th, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, let's take a look at your week ahead. Don't forget these are general readings. Uh, take with you what resonates, read what does not, behind for someone else. And if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. Don't forget your current re reading. The current weekly reading is already up, so be sure and check that out. Hi, Maya. Um, what we got going on here, you need to get ready for a fast pace. Very fast pace is what I'm seeing for Taurus. Quick moving energy, okay? Not a bad energy, but quick moving. A lot of intensity for the love life. This does seem to apply to my singles as well as to my couples, okay? Uh, there is a Libra energy here that may or may not resonate. Kind of like the calm before the storm energy is what I'm seeing here. Some new doors are opening. You're moving forward. Things are going well. You also need to put a stop to anyone who is using you at this time. Hello, Mr. Harry. So let's see what we have coming up for the week of the 27th. Don't forget this is the week that we're leaving February and entering into March. So we have the two of wands. And so this tells me there's some upcoming travel plans travel plans um i think um water river lake or ocean i really want to stress ocean okay nine of pentacles coming in with financial independence something has shifted in your finances you're feeling good where you are you're feeling stable The devil card energy here, the intensity and the love line. This is for my singles and my couples. And we have the high priestess. That high priestess comes along and says, you know what? You're grounded and you're centered. You're also very intuitive and you need to tap in and trust that intuition. But this is also more than that. This is giving guidance to someone else, someone close to you. And we have the nine of wands. Nine of Wands is a bajiggity card, sender of your reading. It says you're feeling a little out of sorts. A lot of scattered energy around you right now. Okay? Not going on at one time. And you have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands says... Ah, thank you, Mr. Harry. That was a big sigh of relief this morning, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's the first... Hang on, I'll get to that. Uh, Ten of Wands is... Overcoming your obstacles, overcoming your goals, uh, pushing them to the side, doing really well, okay? Moving forward, making a new path a better path. There is an ocean draw here with my toes. I want to say that. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles um, is... Um, Restoring your financial balance. Something coming into play here. Something is bought in this peaceful sigh of relief for you. Okay. Queen of Cups says, open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. There is a safety zone here as well. So I'll throw that out there. But you need to open up. You need to open your heart. Um, a Scorpio may or may not resonate here. And we have the Six of you are reconnecting with someone from the past, and for some of you, this I mean, for all of you, it's a good reconnection, but I see, um, like, you're going over things, going over things from the past. So this could be, to me, indicates maybe someone from your childhood or something, something from the pretty distant past that you're reconnecting with. We have the Three of Swords, Three is a Crowd. Three is a Crowd, third person, I want advice and or opinions. Let me say, because we do have intensity in the love life, if you're single, let's make sure you are not getting involved in a third-party situation. With the Ten of Cups, someone's coming in with an offer of a relationship. And for those that are in a relationship, you could be ascending to another level at this point in time. Um, then we have the world, as in the world is your oyster. We have the High Priestess. The High Priestess comes in. Your new beginning this week is in love. The week of the 27th. New beginning in love for my Taurus. 
and we have temperance. Okay, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. Temperance says you recognize and embrace change. You're changing things up. You're taking the initiative to change your own course, your own path, and it's making leading you to something better. Okay, and we have judgment. And judgment comes in and says, you know, I want you to quit worrying about what other people think about you. You spend a lot of time worrying about what other people think about you. Don't worry about that anymore. And we have, look at there, four of wands. So let me say something to you. Taurus, in any reading, if you're single particular, I'll tell you, you're looking for the ton of cups of the four of wands. If you're seeking a relationship, you have them both. Some of you leveling up to marriage. Some of you about to get married. Okay. And we have the Six of Wands, total victory, complete success. You or your partner is either in the spotlight. You could be a tarot reader. You could, I don't know, work in the mass media, something like that, but you're in the spotlight. But it does indicate total victory and success. And we have the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with a Virgo, uh, someone coming in to offer you advice, actually good sound advice. And then we have the Ten of Wands. Beside that Ten of Wands, again, is saying you're overcoming your obstacles. You push them to the side. You create a new kind of people. So, um, had not done an extended for Taurus in a while, and yet I still have no reason to extend here. Everything was pretty beautiful to me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and extend this one. Since we do have some intensity in the love life, and you've got both of the love cards plus this devil card energy, and we want to make sure of this third party does not fall into the love life, okay? So we're going to move this over to the extended, so join me there. And um, let's see what this intense love life holds for Taurus. So join me there, and if not, meet me back here for Gemini in just a few minutes. Membership information in the description box below as well as on the home page under join. So, bye guys.